So the UK now generates 30% of its electricity using renewable sources, and there's nothing stopping us getting to 50% in a matter of years. Our mission is to connect you with renewable energy projects. Victoria Institute is the hub of the village. We do everything here, through every age range, from frantic exercises right down to sewing classes. And it is an old building, it's Victorian. Heat was escaping out of the old doors and windows. It wasn't very energy efficient. It was like a colander, really. Thrive Renewables have made the Victoria Institute energy efficient and that made one heck if you don't mind me saying that of difference i think by really engaging with the community and sharing the benefits of the of the renewable energy and the impact we're making then that really does bring about change and will bring about the transition at first there was a lot of resentment about the windmills but since people have become more informed, they have accepted the windmills. I think that reality has come to us in the village, as all over the country, I'm sure, that climate change is something that has to be managed. And the only way it's going to be managed is to stop using the fossil fuels and to start using renewable we like the windmills, we like the thought that this is clean, it's renewable, and they are our windmills now. So each one of these turbines generates enough electricity for 1,500 UK homes. Our family has owned the land for almost 100 years. As custodians of the land, we're very proud to have the wind farm as part of that operation. Things are happening now um, that we hadn't foreseen when we started with this venture as far as global warming and that sort of thing goes. At the outset, which was at the early 1990s, we're very much at the forefront. Very few people had even heard of wind turbines in the size and scale which were installed initially on Caton Moor, let alone the ones which have gone in now since repowering. And so it was very much an education uh, process as a family, we actually went and talked to our neighbours and in the village communities to tell them about what we were trying to do, rather than just see a planning application appear in the local newspaper. And we actually said, this is what we're looking to do. The whole idea uh, of land ownership, in our opinion, is to be able to pass that land on to the next generation in better order than what we found it. You know, we felt we could deliver something which would be very useful. And time has proved that right. Uh, the current turbines are probably amongst the most efficient in the country. Although what we do here and the wind farm uh, in particular is only a very small part, it's a significant part of a global fix. The only way we're going to address the climate change emergency is by working together. <laughs>